Meanwhile, a new law in 2017 allows people in France to ignore work emails when they're not at work. So if you're at dinner, don't worry about it. It's meant to end so-called hidden hours that employees are not paid for. So should people have the right to disconnect? We're here to debate. A psychologist, Dr. Michael Woodward, and employment attorney, Richard Roth. Good to see you both. Happy New Year. Happy New Richard, Year. Richard, yeah. you say this is a good idea. It's a great idea. It's called the right <laughs> to disconnect law. And the Labor Party in, in France decided that um, it just because we, we are getting burnt out. That all they're saying is that you, you can still email over the weekend. You can still email at night. But the employer, only if you have over 50 employees, the employer has an obligation now to give you a time period to do it. Nine to one on Saturday, nine to one on Sundays. <laughs> the reason why it's a, it's, it's a good idea for several reasons, but I, I have a feeling Michael doesn't agree with me. Yeah, this the, is horrible. This whole thing is horrible. First of all, let's just put it in context. We're talking about France, a country that has a mandated 35-hour work week, uh, as well as what I think something like 30 days a year vacation. Now they don't want to do emails at, at night. So I don't think we should be taking our cues from the French to begin with. But second, how are you going to regulate this? Uh, that, that's a good question. But, Dr. Fur, let's start yeah. first with... Isn't it getting ridiculous all around the world, including America, where you never can focus on your family, your kids, because you're, you're on the device? Are we, you know, too connected? Yes. But do you legislate discipline? No. And I think we do need to teach. And look, I work with clients all the time. I work with a lot of executives who do have challenges around this. I totally agree there. But, you know, we're, we're in the 24-7 globally wired world where we work across time zones and remotely. I don't think you can legislate times where you're working, times where you're not. Fair point. Here's, why here's, why he's wrong. Okay. here's why he's wrong. Number one is there are several <laughs> studies that have been made in the, done in the world and in this country. In fact, one done by Professor Lehigh, Virginia Tech, and Colorado, Colorado mm -hmm. State, which uh -huh. said we are getting burnt out. Enough is enough. We sure. have to take some time off in the office. The second reason why he's wrong is because we do legislate. We have 40-hour work weeks. If sure. you work more than 40 hours, you have to get paid under the Fair Labor Standards Act. So we can legislate it. Is it enforceable? We don't know, but it is legislatable. I mean, so let me understand, you Richard. You, it, you, so you feel like we're burnt out. Do you think everyone should get a trophy as well? <laughs> not a trophy. Not a trophy. But here's the deal. If your employer says, I need something Monday morning, let him, let him send you an email from 9 to 1 on Saturday as opposed to 2 o'clock in the sure, morning. Sure, but do you want to restrict productivity? Like in this country, if we were to have a law like this, Hey, you know, you've got small businesses saying, we've got to work around the clock to, to make this a success. First of all, it only applies for people, uh, employers 50, with 50 or more mm -hmm. employees. Second of all, it's, it doesn't apply in exigent circumstances. And third of all, you're not restricting productivity. If you, if you say, listen, I need you in Monday morning at 8 a.m., then send the email at a certain hour. It's not saying you can't email. It's saying we're going to have certain times we're allowed to email on weekends. Make well, it 9 to 1 on Saturday, 9 to 1 on Sunday. It's so, not, doctor, is it, there it sounds some, crazy, but it's yeah, really, I'm really I'm teasing not. Richard about Business the trophy. Business problems split. don't happen, like, during set tie hours and times. Right? right? Business issues, uh, shipping problems, customer service problems, they happen all the time. And so you've got to be ready, especially if you're a smaller, mid sized business, to be able to tackle those problems at any time. But I mean, you've got to be all hands on deck. He wants to take a nap. He wants to relax. <laughs> I, you know what? It's I, exactly. amazing how many right. studies have come out, and they keep coming out saying that, and, and, the, the and, and you can blame it on the millennials if you want. But the bottom line <laughs> is that there's a lot of studies out saying that we are being burnt out. It's causing a anxiety and stress in the workplace. So if you know, for example, I want to have dinner Saturday night with my wife and yeah. my children, and I'm not going to have to respond to my employer, that's a good thing. Gentlemen, it's a really I, good thing. At the very least, I want to compliment you both. Pocket Square <laughs> game is strong. <laughs> January 2nd, right out of the box. Way to go. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think? Send us an email. Friends at foxnews.com. Thank you, Dr. Woodward and Richard Roth. Still ahead.